Namaste. The subject of Vedic mathematics has become a household name in recent years. In fact, the subject of Vedic maths is very ancient and is known in India for several thousands of years. The term Vedic mathematics indicates that mathematics which is related to the Vedas. Then what is Veda? Veda means knowledge which includes both the spiritual knowledge and worldly knowledge. The Vedas are treated with highest reverence by all the followers of Sanatana Dharma. The followers of tradition believe that the Vedas are eternal, that is, the Vedas exist forever. The Vedas are also known as the Shabda Brahma as they are considered as the sound form of the Supreme God Paramatma. In addition to the intellectual debates of highest level like Upanishads on various aspects of spiritual knowledge, the Vedas extensively deal with the rituals also, that is, yajnas are sacrifices of several kinds for the upliftment of the humanity. These rituals involve several topics which are directly related to the mathematics. Hence, a thorough knowledge of mathematics is essential for proper performance of the rituals. The Vedas have several books under the headings of Rugveda, Yajurveda, Samaveda and Atharvaveda. To understand these Vedas, there is a need to study some more books called Vedangas. The Vedangas are declared as six in number and include Siksha, Vyakarana, Chandas, Nirukta, Jyotisha and Kalpa. Among them, the Kalpa, Jyotisha and Chandas involve mathematics extensively. In particular, the Kalpa dealing with the preparation of altars or Yajnavedikas utilizes several geometrical principles which are called as Solva Sotras. Presently, few of them trace are in the names of Baudhayana, Apastamba, Katyayana and others. The Jyotisha is made up of three parts, Siddhanta Bhaga, Jataka Bhaga and Samhita Bhaga. Among them, the Siddhanta Bhaga involves intensive mathematical calculations related to the relative positions of the planets and other celestial bodies. For this, they utilize spherical geometry and trichonometry or alternately called trigonometry. Because of the vast coverage of mathematics and its significance, the Jyotisha is adored from times immemorial. Lagatha, the great mathematician of India of about 1500 BC, states in his book of Vedanga Jyotisha that Yatha Shikha Mayuranam Naganam Manayo Yatha Tadvad Vedanga Shastranam Ganitam Mordhanischatam. Like the crest of a peacock and like the jumps on the hoods of serpents, the mathematics lies at the top of all Vedanga Shastras. Similarly, the Chandas has a lot of knowledge related to the mathematics like permutations and combinations. Thus, lot of mathematical principles were discovered by our sages who include Surya, Pitamaha, Vasishtha, Medhatithi, Garga, Lomasha, Chyavana and several others. In addition to the sages, we have a long list of astronomer come mathematicians like Varahamihira, Aryabhatta, Bhaskaracharya 1, Bhaskaracharya 2, Brahmagupta, Mahavira Acharya, Karakacharya, Prithiyashas, Pauluri Malanna and a host of others. They developed the subject of mathematics beyond our imagination. Because of the contributions of these stalwarts, India was known as a land of mathematics for several millennia. Its contributions include the digits, decimal system, pi, zero, infinity and so on. In course of time, the literature related to the mathematics was taken from India to foreign countries. In fact, a mathematician by name Kanka of Ujjain was taken to Arab countries and was requested to translate the books of mathematics from Sanskrit to Arabic language. It is said that Al Jafar, under whose name the subject of algebra is popular, adopted the Sanskrit numerals for the digits in his works. Subsequently, the subject of Indian mathematics spread to Spain, Germany, 
France, England and other European countries. During the alien rule, the same mathematics were introduced through English language in the curriculum in India, but with the names of original Indian contributors suppressed. For illustration, the Baudhayan Siddhanta related to the areas of the sides of a right angled triangle is now known in the name of Pythagoras of about 500 BC who was born about three centuries after Baudhayana. The theorem of interpolation introduced by Govinda Swami of 300 BC is now known in the names of Newton and Gauss born after a gap of about 1800 years. The theory of earth revolving around the sun was recorded by Aryabhatta in 5th century AD. However, it is known in the name of Copernicus who was born 1000 years after Aryabhatta. There are several examples of this kind. It is not that only sages of ancient times developed Vedic mathematics. In 1960s, Swami Bharati Krishna Tirtha of Govardhan Pet of Puri Jagannath authored a book and titled it Vedic Mathematics. It mainly contains description of 16 mathematical sutras and some upasutras based on Vedic principles. Many school children consider mathematics as a difficult subject. They encounter difficulty with basic arithmetic operations including multiplications, divisions, squares, cubes, square roots, cube roots and so on. These problems are addressed in the above book quite extensively and hence it is found to be highly useful to the students. The experiences of many students and teachers of Vedic mathematics are recorded in the following words. It is easy to learn, faster to use and less prone to errors. Highly useful for competitive exams. Provides online answers using mental and super fast methods. Offers a new approach based on pattern recognition. Develops students creativity and high degree of mathematical ability and carries a great educational value. The present course Vedic Mathematics 1 organized by Sri Vedabharati lays special stress on the arithmetic operations like multiplications and divisions. It also covers several topics like squares, cubes, square roots, cube roots, fourth order and fifth order roots. The present series of lectures are by Dr. Raymond Avadhanlu who is a nuclear scientist and a computer professional with more than four decades of experience. Among several other distinctions, he is a recipient of a Golden Nandi Award from Government of Andhra Pradesh, India for his impressive teaching of Vedic mathematics through TV channels which was noted as the first best educational program in 2008. Incidentally, he is a Vedic scholar also with a doctorates in Sanskrit and Astro Science. The present drive for propagation of Vedic mathematics is to see that our teachers, students and youth know the rich heritage of India at the first instance, carry out further research in Vedic mathematics, restore the glory of ancient India through the spread of Vedic mathematics throughout the globe and ultimately serve the society with the fund of knowledge given by our sages. We invite you all to participate in this mission to the extent possible. Thank you.